Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be doing a bridal makeup tutorial. I feel like this summer a lot of people might be doing their own bridal makeup, whether you're a bride or a bridesmaid or attending a wedding, so I thought I'd give you a little quick tutorial. This look is glowy and natural and you could easily take it to a more dramatic look if you want, but I think this is really feature flattering for a lot of people. Starting with skincare, I'm going to take Smooth Priming Serum, and this is a great primer for foundation, so a couple drops all over the face and really blend it in. And then I'm going to take one pump of our Mellow Hydrator and apply that all over as well. You don't want too much moisturizer, so just one pump will do the trick. And then just give it a few moments to dry before you apply your foundation. To begin with foundation, I'm taking our tinted moisturizer, just a pump of that on our flat top foundation brush and blending that all over the skin. This is a product that I use for almost all of my bridal makeovers. It just creates a great um, primer for foundation and it's just a nice glowy type of foundation. It's not too much coverage, so it just is a good start. Now it's time for concealer, so I'm taking our liquid concealer and a flat eyeshadow brush, just applying that under my eyes, and then I'm going to dab a little bit on my eyelids too because you want to prime for eyeshadow as well to make sure that shadow stays in place. So blend it on with the brush and then blend it in with your ring finger. For more coverage for foundation, I'm taking our Loose Mineral Foundation and using our Blending Face Brush for a really diffused, beautiful look. It's not going to be too heavy, but it's still going to give you full coverage. So blend that all over the skin. You might need a couple layers of the foundation to get fuller coverage, especially with this brush. Always, always, always make sure to blend it down past your jawline. You want to make sure you set your foundation so it stays in place all day. So I'm taking our translucent setting powder and applying it to my T-zone. I just want a little bit of contour and bronzing. So I'm taking Alluring Contour Powder and applying it to my forehead, along my hairline, under my cheekbones, and along my jaw as well. For a hint of blush, I'm just applying a small amount of Dahlia blush to the apples of my cheeks and really blending that in. And then for a luminous glow, I'm going to apply Afterglow highlighter to my cheekbones and temple area and really blend that in. And this is just going to give you such a nice glow on your wedding day. Make sure your lips are nice and moisturized, so I'm just taking a lip balm, blending it onto my lips, and then smudging it in with my ring finger. Moving on to eyeshadows, I'm going to take Darling Eyeshadow and highlight my eyes, the inner tear duct, and underneath my brow with our contour crease brush. And that brush just offers a lot of control, um, the eyeshadow doesn't go everywhere, so it's perfect for that. The next shade is Rose and Gold, and that one is going to be applied to my whole eyelid using our flat eyeshadow brush. So you dip that into the eyeshadow and blend it all over the eyelid from the lashes up to the crease. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of that under the eyes as well to the inner half of my eyes. I'm going back to the shade Darling and I'm going to apply that just to the inner corner of my eyelids on top of Rose and Gold. And for a contour color, I'm going to take the shade Pewter with my Tapered Blending Eye Brush, dab that in the powder, and apply that to my crease and to the outer corner of my eyes. And you always want to make sure that this shade is really well blended. And then to deepen that outer corner even more, I'm going to take the shade Dapper and our Contour Crease Brush and just add a little bit on the very, very outer corner of my eye. Kind of gives it a smoky look. Again, using Dapper, I'm going to smooth that a little bit under the eyes as well for just a smoky eyeliner look. Time for eyeliner. I'm taking black Pure Line Pencil and smoothing that on my upper lash line only. And this is a little bit of a thicker line, but you can definitely go thinner if that is your preference. 
Now I'm taking Dapper with an angled liner brush and just smoothing that over the eyeliner. I almost always do this for weddings. Um, it just helps you get a really, really nice straight line and then I'm creating a little bit of a wing at the end. It's a great idea to curl your eyelashes for a wedding. It helps to open up your eyes. Time for mascara. So I'm applying our black mascara to my upper and lower lashes. I do two coats of that. Our mascara is a great option for weddings because it's water resistant. Just make sure that if you're feeling teary, you dab your eyes, don't wipe. Next is Eminence Lipstick. It is a nude pink, but I definitely suggest something darker if you have darker skin or darker lips. Then you want to take a tissue and blot your lipstick so it lasts longer. Now I'm taking Kiwi Lip Gloss, and this is going to warm up the lip color a little bit. It's a bit of a peachy pink, and it is also a nude color, so again, if it's too light for you, go with something deeper. You also want to blot the lip gloss so that the color lasts longer. And we are done. This is our glowing, neutral, bridal makeup look. I think it will look good on so many people, so give it a try if you're feeling inspired. Thank you so much for watching. Best of luck as you try this look.